My name is Silas Farley, and I'm the Dean of the Trudel Zipper Dance Institute at the Colburn School in Los Angeles. It's been such a joy to work here in Green Mountain Falls with the dancers of American Ballet Theater as I've choreographed the ballet Collage and Creed. It's a piece that I've wanted to do for quite a few years and have worked on some of the sections before I came here to Colorado. And I've been able to realize all of my different ideas for this ballet. And I've loved how the dancers have been so invested in the whole creative process. My name is Claire Davison. I am a Corte Ballet member with the American Ballet Theater. It's been absolutely wonderful, mainly because we don't usually get to work so intimately with one choreographer on one piece. So it's been really wonderful just to hear his process and all of his inspirations and really have the time to sit down with him and have him cater the piece for us. And also just being in this beautiful setting has been so inspiring. The mission of Green Box is so unique. This emphasis on very intimate encounters between the choreographers and the artists and the audience, not in a huge setting where there's a big distance, even a physical distance between the stage and the audience. Everything is so much more relational here at Green Box. We don't usually get to see the audience because it's just a black pit that we look out into when we're performing at the Met. So it's very emotional just looking out at people's faces, especially in this setting because it is so intimate and it just is this really beautiful energy share that after the year that we've all had is so imperative right now. It's been a privilege to work in the natural setting here in Green Mountain Falls. Normally the creative process has happened for me in really bustling cities. And in that kind of an environment, it takes a little bit of time each day once you get into the studio to quiet yourself and prepare for the creative work. But because the setting is already so contemplative here, I felt that I've been able to go even deeper into the ideas for the artistic work and be able to operate from a place of real rest and focus each day as I've come into the studio. And I see that also in how the dancers have been able to come into their dance work in an even more settled and focused way. I think it's so important for smaller towns to experience that caliber of art. I mean, there's no reason why it should only happen in these big cities and be so elite and limited to people that can make it there. Some of my hopes for the future of ballet are that more and more choreographers will use the classical ballet language, that language that dancers spend their whole lives cultivating every day in the ballet class, that choreographers would trust that language and realize that it has the capacity to tell all different kinds of stories. And so I hope that we'll see more and more ballets that both show the pain and splendor of the world as it is, and that also give us a vision of the world that could be.